Hello everybody and welcome to another video and today we're going to be looking at what I deem to be the two best singers from Nightwish collaborating on a track. Uh, now this is a point of some contention because there are some that believe that Floor Jansen is uh, the best singer from Nightwish. I heartily disagree. I will always and forever maintain that it is Taya Turnant, but you know, to each their own, that's my personal opinion. Now, this is a track by Marco Heiteler featuring Taya Turin. Um So I'm expecting that this will probably be a different vocal style from Marco um, than we know from Nightwish. Because in Nightwish, his vocal style had a lot more sort of grit in it. It had a lot more distortion in his vocal performance in Nightwish. However, a little while ago, I looked at a solo track by Marco uh, called, I think it was called The Voice of My Father, I could be mistaken. And his vocal style in that track was quite different to what we knew from Nightwish. So I'm kind of expecting it to be more of his solo style vocal performance. I don't know, I could, I could be mistaken. He might do a mix of his solo stuff and what we know from Nightwish. I'm not entirely sure, but his vocal and musical style in his solo, th um, his solo project, is quite different from what we know from Nightwish. Um, but I mean, I know what to expect from Taya. You know, she's got the strong, powerful operatic voice, and f for me, she will always be the voice of Nightwish. You know, I w I followed Nightwish from like the very, very early days. You know. So Taya has always been the voice of Nightwish to me. And whilst Floor is indeed a talented vocalist, Nightwish just isn't the same with her taking vocals. Um, so, you know, again, that's just my personal opinion. That's just me. So, yeah, the song is called Left on Mars, which is an interesting title for a track. I mean, obviously, when you think of Nightwish, when you think of Taya or Marco, you tend to think of... Something more akin to high fantasy sort of thing, that, you know that 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 sort of style of music, because it was very, it was very orchestral, it was symphonic sort of thing. So, life on Mars, uh, left on Mars, should I say, is is a very unusual idea for a title of a song coming from these two. What it's about, I don't know. I do have lyrics here, but although they do come from genius lyrics, so. How accurate they're going to be, I don't know, because we do know from past experience that genius can be somewhat unreliable. Uh, but they're the best ones that I could come across. Um, so yeah, I'm intrigued to see uh, what we've got going on with this track. So uh, we'll jump to it. But before we do that, if you could just take a moment to like and subscribe if you haven't already. It would really, really help me out. You know, I've been doing this for a little over six years now. And not even 2% of people watching my videos are actually subscribed. And, you know, as a result of that, my videos aren't getting recommended. They're disappearing into the algorithm. You know, it's a little bit disheartening. Uh, you know... It, it doesn't cost you anything, it takes a fraction of a second, and it does make the biggest difference to me and the channel. Uh, but with that being said, let's just jump straight into it and have a look at what we've got. So, Left on Mars, by Marco Heiteler, featuring Taya Turinen. Let's have a look.
Yes, I like that. You know, th- this is another thing that I think was missing when Fl- Floor took over in Nightwish, is the fact that Marco and Tyre's voices complement each other so well. You know, like I said, Floor does have a good voice, there's no disputing that, or I just still prefer Tyre, but when it came to duetting, Marco and Tyre's voices worked together just so brilliantly the perfect example of this is if you look at um nightwish end of an era live performance of phantom of the opera you hear marco and taya perform together their voices are just so perfect together you hear their voices individually you wouldn't think it would work but they do their voices work so well together and that's what i think has been missing from nightwish ever since Tyre was removed from the band so you know it, that, again my personal opinion but I do love their voices together they just they do they work so well and the piece of music is really really good I really like it I like there's a really sort of funky groove to this piece of music and it just sounds really good you know and there's a really lovely bass sound which of course you'd expect um, to hear with you know, Marco being the front man of the band and being a bassist, you know, you'd really expect it to be moved a little bit forward. And I, I like it. I think it is a really good piece of music. It sounds great. And it's great to hear these two performing together again. Because, yeah, they just work so well. Um, now, the track being called Left on Mars, it's not necessarily about mars itself it sounds like it's someone trying to find somewhere to belong 
you know, he, he, he feels he possibly feels like an outcast he feels like a stranger in a strange world and he's saying you know i'm trying to find somewhere to belong but i might as well be on mars that's how weird things feel to me that's how out of place i feel that's what that's what the song seems to suggest because uh, it opens with there was a child climbing a hill on a winter's night face up to space above and taken by the sight time slowed down under the blessing of the skies of dying stars and a billion years of light billion years of light so really that doesn't explain very much it's just sort of setting the foundation you know there was a child you know and he was sort of taken by the vastness of the sky you know he stood there looking up at the sky and he was in awe of the vastness of it you know time slowed down you know he had this weird sort of moment of inner peace under those skies excuse me uh, then it came in with I flew across the void of space in a waking dream astride a fusion flame I'm finally redeemed to the wonders that transcend the bounds of time to hear the heavens sing and reach the other side again I'm not really sure where to place that you know I flew across the void of space in a waking dream so he let his imagination run away with him possibly I don't know but then it goes to the chorus do you know that my star my <laughs> try that again do you know that my heart still holds the rage? No, and I've turned page after page. I never chose to be an alien. No, I'm just looking for a home. I'm just looking for a home. I know I'm better left on Mars. So uh, this is what brings me to think it's someone looking for somewhere to belong. Um, you know, my star heart still holds rage. You know, maybe he's agonizing over the fact that he feels out of place that you know he's angry that he doesn't fit in maybe he's angry that he's an outcast maybe i don't know uh, i've turned page after page you know i've i've lived a long time possibly you know like the pages of his life the story of his life sort of thing i never chose to be an alien i'm just looking for a home you know i never chose to be an outcast i never chose to be, be this way you know this is just the way i am you know i never chose to be an alien you know someone that people don't want to come anywhere near some someone that people don't want to associate with you know an outcast a stranger someone that people are just like better stay away from that i'm just looking for a home you know i want to find somewhere i belong um i know i'm better left on mars so it's like i'm looking for somewhere to belong but deep in my heart i know i'm never going to fit anywhere else so i might as well just stay i might as well be on mars for all anybody cares you know no one's going to miss me if i'm not here you know i might as well be on a completely different planet that's what it suggests to me i could be miles off base but that's kind of what it says to me anyway uh, I see the star that gave us life in the rusted sky. The hills turn crimson as I take your hand in mine. I always thought this place was safe, and I was wrong. You chose to cross the void with me. I was made strong. So, this kind of hints that he's found a companion, maybe a kindred spirit, in his search for somewhere to belong. And whilst he, he and this companion might not necessarily fit into society as would seem normal he's found someone that he can associate with someone that he has a kinship with someone that he has things in common with so you know as i take your hand in mine i always thought this place was safe and i was wrong you chose to cross the void with me i was made strong so he's found this companion someone who's decided to come along on this journey with him and it sort of built him up it enforced him it made him more determined to find a place to belong but now that he's got this person as well you know he might not necessarily need to find somewhere to belong because he has this sort of sense of belonging with this person now again i could be way off base i don't know um and it goes into that chorus again do you know that my stuff that my i cannot say this bloody chorus can i do you know that my heart still holds the rage no and i've turned page after page i never chose to be an alien no i'm just looking for a home i know i'm better left on mars and then there was a nice instrumental break uh, which sounded 
great as you'd expect uh then goes back into that chorus uh do you know that my heart still holds the rage no and i've turned page after page i never chose to be an alien no i'm just looking for a home and then it goes into a variation on the chorus saying i think you know that my heart still holds rage but you still believe in me and i chose the mercy of your heart i'm just looking for a home together we'll find a home alone together left on mars so you know he's saying you know how i feel you know my heart still holds rage you understand me you know he says you know that my heart still holds rage so it's like you understand me you get me you know and i've not found that in anybody else yet and he says you still believe in me so whilst you understand the struggles that i'm going through you still you're still there to support me you're still there to help me you know you, you are a kindred spirit as it were and i chose the mercy of your heart so rather than rather than like seeing this person and going you know this is a strange person you know should i keep my distance he's turned around and gone right i've got a kinship with this person this person is now important to me you know and you know they understand me for who i am they accept me for who i am and that's you know that's sort of what i've been looking for so he chose the mercy of their heart i'm just looking for a home together we'll find a home alone together left on mars so you know together we'll find somewhere we belong even if it's outside society even if you know it's just us two you know we'll have somewhere that we belong we'll find somewhere safe that we can call home and I won't be, neither of us will be alone anymore. We'll have each other. So, you know, there's a little bit of a, a payoff at the end there. So, you know, at the beginning, he sort of sounds like a lonely person just looking for somewhere to belong. And whilst he might not necessarily find somewhere to belong in society, he's found someone that understands him, someone that cares about him, someone who might even be going through the same sort of thing as him, but not necessarily. You know, it's just someone who understands him and accepts him for who he is. And, you know, even if the rest of society, if the rest of the world doesn't accept him for who he is, he's at least got this companion now where he can now say, you know, I found, I've maybe found somewhere I belong. It might still be outside society, you know, I might still be an outcast from the rest of society, but at least I have you sort of thing. So... You know, it's got quite a nice little meaning to it in, in the way that I'm understanding it. Like I said, I could be miles off base. Um, but, you know, it's, it's got that sort of... Mean, you know, it's got that sort of feeling to it where it's like someone who's looking to belong. Whether they are an actual alien or just someone who's so outcast from society that they're deemed to be a strange, possibly even dangerous person. And then he finds this person who understands him, who cares about him, and he cares about also. And, you know that they've now found safety together they've found somewhere to belong together you know so i like i like what it's saying it's it's a really nice piece of music it's got a really nice piece uh, nice meaning to it and like i said you know just hearing their two voices together again is just amazing because their voices work so well together um even though uh, in this marco is using more of his solo uh, project vocal style you know it does it doesn't have the same amount of um, grit in it. It doesn't have the same sort of. It's a different vocal style than he used in Nightwish. You know that that had a lot more sort of grit to it. Had a lot more distortion to it. He hasn't used that in here. There's a little bit of it, a very little bit of it, but not to the same extent. But it still works. Both of their voices complement each other perfectly, and I love it. I think it's a great piece of music. I I think it is absolutely fantastic. So, you know, it's great to hear both of them working together again. You know, there was all sorts of rumours and stuff about Taya and why she was kicked out of the band. None of them are not actually... I don't think any of them were actually confirmed. There was a lot of hearsay. There was a lot of rumours. Um, you know, and I think letting Taya go was the biggest mistake Nightwish ever made. Um, again, my personal opinion, because she is a fantastic singer marco is an amazing singer um but yeah great piece of music i really liked it 
Um, don't know what else I can say on that, so I'll leave that as it is. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like or a subscribe if you haven't already, because it really, really would help me out. You know, I've been doing this for a, a little over uh, six years now, and as it stands, not even 2% of people watching my videos are actually subscribed, which is a little bit uh, disheartening, you know, as a result of that you know my videos not getting likes not getting subscribes my videos aren't getting suggested to people they're just sort of disappearing off into the youtube algorithm you know and i'm lucky if i get even 50 people watching my videos and that's kind of disheartening you know considering i've been doing it for six six years you know i'd, I'd kind of hoped it would have <laughs> i would have had a bit more of an audience than that um uh, but you know it is what it is but if you could like and subscribe it would really really help me out it takes a fraction of a second and it doesn't cost you anything but it makes a bigger biggest difference to me and my channel but yeah that's all i've got for you today thank you all very very much for watching and i'll see you again soon bye bye do you know